Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. I'm going to talk to you about checking your batteries, getting ready for desert season. Um, in the month of October, people start opening up their coaches and trailers and getting ready for the uh, Halloween weekend to kick off desert season. And if you have not been uh, using your trailer, you probably want to go in there and start powering everything up and doing a little preliminary test as if you were out there uh, without hookups. Um, if you haven't checked the water on your battery, it's a good time to start checking. And of course, you want to open up the cell and look inside your 12 volt or your six volt battery. Six volt batteries uh, have the three cells, 12 volts have six. And you wanna make sure the plates were covered with water. Now, don't be too alarmed if the plate got a little bit dry, you're not completely done. But what you want to do is now do some checking, some testing, and some charging before you go on out there. It's not good to be out there in the desert if you don't have good batteries. Um, if you have a battery that has liquid inside of it, most people do, your best friend is a very inexpensive battery hydrometer. Um, I don't like the ones that they sell at the automotive store. I think they're bulky and clumsy. The ones that I prefer are the ones made by Easy Red, which is uh, Edward Zebra Red, Easy Red. I sell them for 10 bucks. <clears throat> you measure the specific gravity of the water, it tells you the health of the battery by giving you the state of charge or the specific gravity. It's a very, very simple tool and it's something that everyone should have in their toolbox. Now, if you have batteries that are mediocre, the hydrometer is gonna tell you. Another tool you're gonna to wanna to have is maybe an inexpensive DC voltmeter. You can get these, you don't need a real expensive one, just something that measures DC volts and you wanna measure the battery's voltage. I would first do this before you do specific gravity, just to see uh, if, if the hydrometer and the voltmeter line up. You measure the, the battery's volts on the lead terminals. You never measure the voltage on the stainless steel. So between these two tools, you start getting an idea of where your batteries are at. If you do need to replace your batteries, <clears throat> and you've been using 12 volt batteries, and you plan on going out to the desert, Glamis, or whatever that has no hookups, it's a good time to consider <clears throat> not to repurchase the 12s, but to get two 6 volt batteries. Two six volt batteries are basically golf cart batteries. Golf cart batteries have uh, their six volts typically and they have high, high amperage compared to a 12 volt battery. It's a good time to make the switch. Um, a good six volt battery will cost you just as about as much as a good 12 volt deep cycle battery. Well, I hope that helps you. If you haven't um, been keeping your batteries on charge and you have your toy hauler or your fifth wheel or your RV just parked and you have not been on shore power, there's a good chance your batteries are gonna be flat and fully discharged. These batteries lose, let's say about 1% per day by themselves. So if it's been a while since they've been charged, they're gonna be really, really resistant to charge. <clears throat> People ask me all the time, well, I'm gonna charge my batteries, what should I charge it with? Well, two amps is not gonna do it. They'll ask me, can I just use a trickle charger? No, it won't work. These batteries gain resistance and you have to overcome the resistance. So you're probably gonna look at at least 10 amps, if not higher. If you have any questions, we're getting ready for desert season. We have full stock on batteries. Give us a call at the shop, 619-448-5323, 619-448-5323, or www.619battery.com. Send us your questions. We'll try to help you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.